Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. Patterson, I'm having a wonderful day. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I appreciate you having us on today. Hi, well, Valder. I, hi, Lily Davis. Thank you both for joining me here in Dallas, Texas. I want my audience to know I'm talking with Dr. Patterson this morning, and he brought along Lee Davis to talk about uh, lower back pain, because according to the CDC, lower back pain is a leading cause of pain and disability in America. But Dr. Patterson is here with hope. Dr. Patterson, tell him about that hope. Oh, God. You know, uh, Valder, 72 million Americans suffer from chronic lower back pain. That's a quarter of the adult population in our country. So it's a very um, uh, debilitating condition. And 50% of patients, you know, describe the pain as being moderate. And a third of them describe the pain as being severe in nature. Unfortunately, 27% of these patients never get a firm diagnosis in what's causing their pain. And it, that's why I'm here, as I'm going to talk about a condition called lumbar spinal stenosis. That's a condition where the nerves in your back can get irritated. It can cause chronic lower back, buttock, and, and leg symptoms. And, and patients need to know that there are treatment options out there. They don't have to be in the dark or suffer from pain, that there is a new procedure out there called the mild procedure that can give them relief and give them their lives back. When, and let me ask you, Dr. Uh, Patterson, when they suffer this type of uh, disability pain, is it ongoing? Is it one time? How, how does that work? Well, usually uh, lower back pain comes on gradually over time, and it's just from doing your normal daily activities. Um, you you d develop degeneration, so wear and tear on your spine. So think of your spinal canal as being a straw. It should be a nice round circle. It should be wide open. Your spinal cord and nerves should have plenty of space inside of that. But as you move, twist, and turn over the years, things start to push in the canal. And one of those things is an enlarged ligament posteriorly. And when it puts that you know, kink in that straw, those nerves become irritated. They don't have as much room to get down to the back and legs. And so patients now start to notice symptoms that when they stand and walk that they get you know, pain, numbness, tingling, weakness, heaviness in that back, buttock, and, and leg area. And, and very little patients, you know, when they were polled, only 78% or 78% of the patients didn't even know that a large ligament can cause these symptoms and that it can be taken care of. I'm just in pain just listening to you, but I've got to listen to Lee Davis. Lee, you underwent the procedure, and I'm going to say your pain is better. <laughs> Better? <laughs> how about how about non-existent? <laughs> oh, I like that even much, much better. For me, you you were talking about does it come on gradually? Well, when I was in pain, it was there all. It was a friend of mine. Just put it like this: it moved in with me. It didn't move out. It wasn't paying rent either. It was just there. So I felt the pain all the time. But once I uh, got the procedure done, hey, that was gone. I evicted that pain, and I'm pain free. And Lee, you even had that pain for 23 years, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my goodness. I was, t look, I had a free resident for 23 years, and I didn't want him there. <laughs> and it, 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 was, it was very debilitating. It, it always felt like, um, it, you know, I was a track runner, so, you know, anybody that ran track can relate to this. It's like having the bear on your back when you're coming in for that last 110 yards off a quarter mile how that bear and the piano man jumps on your back and you don't want them there. That's how it felt all the time. Oh, my goodness. Dr. Patterson, is his results of being pain-free and being so optimistic, is that normal or unique? No, it's not normal nor unique. I'd say majority of my patients who are a candidate for this procedure get the same types of results that Lee is describing. Um, it's amazing to me that I, I can't tell you I, I've been out in public 
Um, and I've seen multiple patients come up to me while I'm like standing in the line at the grocery store and say, you know, doc, I don't know if you remember me, um, but you did that procedure, that mild procedure on me. And now I feel like a million dollars. And, you know, I always joke that the patients would rather see me at the grocery store than see me in my office because they're seeing me in my office. That means they've got an issue or a pain problem that, I, that, that they're there for. So I'd rather see them in public when they're better, you know. Tell me about the campaign, Knowing Your Backstory. What will that do for people? Well, God, this is a uh, national health awareness campaign. And what we're trying to do is let patients know about lumbar spinal stenosis and the symptoms that it causes to see if, they, if that's potentially what is causing their back pain. And the second thing that we want to do is we just want to raise awareness that there are simple, easy treatments out there that patients can have done and can resolve them of their pain. Okay. Where can we, my audience go? Because I've got a lot of questions stacking up in uh, social media and I don't have time. Where can they go online to get some more information? Oh, it, the best place to go is the website, knowyourbackstory.com. That's knowyourbackstory.com. Great part about that website is it goes into more detail about lumbar spinal stenosis and the symptoms and the causes of it. The other thing it does is it talks about the different treatment options out there, including the mild procedure. But I want to highlight one thing about that website is it has a search engine that you can put in your zip code and it will give you a doctor in your area that specializes in the condition and is aware of the mild procedure. And you can go get a, you know, reach out to them, get a consultation to see if you're a candidate for the procedure. That is the best. Dr. Patterson, I want to thank you. And Lee Davis, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're pain free, Lee Davis. Thank yes, you so much. I am. Thank you. Thank you. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. <laughs>